Are you tired of the violence? Tired of the injustice? Police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America? Or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. Diversifiedgame.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, aka the motherland, is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. From Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town, Africa has something for everyone from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. The opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Give up the stress, grind and violence inflicted on our people on this continent and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifiedgame.com. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So on July 1st at about 2 in the morning, 11 black men who called themselves the Rise of the Moors were um, on the freeway. They were parked for whatever reason on the side and police officers saw um, heavily armed men dressed in military gear and so... From that point, a uh, standoff ensued, and it said that the standoff took um, several hours before it ended in the arrest of the 11 people, men, ranging from age 17 to 40. Now, the uh, police colonel said the following. You can imagine 11 armed individuals standing with uh, long guns slung on an interstate highway at 2 in the morning certainly raises concerns and is not consistent with the firearm laws that we have in Massachusetts. And so what he really meant to say was, can you imagine 11 black men with guns? So anyway, um, the Moors, they say that they are, let's see here. They say, come all ye Asiatic America and hear the truth about your nationality and your birthrights. You are not Negro, black, colored, or Ethiopian. Learn your forefathers um, ancient and divine creed that you may learn to love instead of hate. And so they're saying that, you know, they're about peace and all of that. But as you guys may or may not know, Moors tr basically tried to say that they're not citizens and that they don't have to abide by the laws. And so they go about citing all of these ordinances and things like that to absolve themselves of having to follow the laws. And a lot of times they don't have driver's license or anything like that to identify them or connect them to the United States. And that was the case in regards to these 11 men. Now, they uh, face the following. It says, all of the suspects have been charged with unlawful possession of a firearm, eight counts, unlawful uh, possession of ammunition, use of body armor and commission of a crime, possession of a high-capacity magazine, improper storage of firearms in a vehicle, and conspiracy to commit a crime. Now, um, what the crime is that they were conspiring to commit, nobody really knows. They said they were going to train, so they were traveling from Rhode Island um, to Maine to train uh, military training, I'm assuming, and Jamal Bay, who is their uh, leader, I guess it is, he said the following. I reassured them that we are not sovereign citizens. I reassured them that we are not uh, black identity extremists. I reassured them that uh, we are not anti-police. I reassured them that we are not anti-government. I reassured them that these men here will not be pointing guns at them. I reassured them that we're trying to come to a peaceful resolution. I reassured them that I'm willing to give them any information that is necessary to ensure that we can come to a peaceful re resolution so that way they can issue a summons to us in court and uh, handle this civilized. I've also specified how, according to the United States Supreme Court, Younger versus the state of Hawaii, the United States Supreme Court stated how uh, the possession of a firearm is not a crime. It constitutes no offense which means they have no right or authority to detain us. Uh, I also specified how, according to the United States federal law, we have the right to peaceful journey. So as you saw there, he did say, you know, we come in peace. We're not black identity extremists. We are not anti-government. 
um, and all of those things. But, you know, he was in the military, the uh, Marines to be exact before that. So he has some training. But, you know, as of now, uh, they are facing all of those counts. But I would say this. I think we as black people, Moors or whatever you want to call yourself, please don't come for me in the comments. We need to realize that this is not our country. These laws were not made to benefit black people, more Smurfs, whoever. They were meant to benefit white people. And you can run around all you want to talk about, I'm not a citizen. I don't have to follow the laws. You know what that white man going to tell you? Hold my beer. Because you're going to follow the laws whether you like it or not. So it behoove us as black people to get on the same page, whether you're more or s'more, whatever. And so that we can unify and lessen the brutal, blunt force that white people have for us on a daily basis, right? All right, so for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. These proceedings are concluded. This court is adjourned. If all this shit I did for this motherfucking company, you ever had a great idea stolen from you and didn't know how to go about getting justice? In Charles Ford's The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching, he takes us behind the scenes of his public copyright and civil rights lawsuit against his employer, Con Edison. In this explosive page turner, Ford writes of an idea he submitted being taken and used without credit or compensation. In a book where no names have been changed to protect the guilty, Ford details how he stood his ground legally against theft and racial discrimination. Ford's exploration of a corporate lynching attempt inspires readers to pursue justice and fight back legally in the face of corporate opposition and retaliation. The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching is available on Amazon Worldwide in paperback and on Kindle. Find Ford at author Charles Ford on Instagram. Hello, everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.